Hello friends, my name's Mail, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 2. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play, this is episode 60. And in today's episode, well, we're going to be competing in some more one make races over here in the East City. And we are going to Daihatsu to start their one make races. And as you'd probably expect, the Midget Contest is the first race to do. Now that of course means we've got to go and buy ourselves a Daihatsu Midget, which only costs... 5,940 credits and has a fantastic 30 horsepower. We're going to get it in emerald green metallic because oh, why not? Uh, so there we go. Now let's go ahead and buy this vehicle and let me see if I can actually do anything to this modifications wise. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that is the Dinghatsu Midget pumped up with power. How much power you ask? A 82 horsepower. Yeah, this is by far the least powerful car we've ever had in the series so far, I believe, unless the Fiat Sesento had less, which I think the Sesento may have had a bit more. Anyways, let's head into our first and unfortunately only race, because you can't race modify the midget, which is a bit of a shame, uh, which is going to be on a random course, as always. Oh hey, Grand Valley Speedway Fall Course. So I said we'd have to do this at some point, as much as I'm not a huge fan of the uh, Grand Valley Speedway course, and apparently it's time has come, and it's time has come with the Daihatsu Midget 2 with non-upgraded gearbox, so it's time to bounce off the limiter, yay, fun. Anyways, uh, what speed are we actually going to do in this vehicle? And that's 124 kilometers an hour, that's barely breaking the English speed limit on a motorway. 126 kilometers an hour, and then it dies. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, the poor little Daihatsu midget. So, um, the midget then. The midget, the midget, the midget. The car which basically everyone in Gran Turismo Tech makes fun of because, of course, how can you not make fun of it? It's a silly, silly little car. I'm going to be honest. I love the midget. I, I, I really do love this car. I have tried to source them um, on eBay UK. Um, they don't really come up very often, um, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't know why anyone would import one of these into the UK. I'm not sure if you actually can even import these into the UK. Um, but I am desperately trying to find one because, yeah. <laughs> if I had the money, I would totally buy a Midget 2 and uh, drive it around daily. Why not? It, it, how could you not? Although, admittedly, in a crash, you would be basically annihilated, I, I would imagine. Woohoo! Um, apparently, if you go around the corner, you'd be annihilated. Uh, the Yaris that we had last time may have been the best handling vehicle. This is not a good handling vehicle. Um, all it wants to do is go sideways. I should really check. Is this front wheel drive or is it rear wheel drive? Or is it... I don't even know where the engine is in this actually. Um, I believe it's under the passenger compartment. Perhaps. I don't really know. Um, what I do know is that they have 650cc motors. Or is it 550cc? They have incredibly small engines. They produce 30 horsepower. And they are used as mobile billboards for the most part. Also, there is some very, 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 very weird Japanese advertising for these things. Um, just Google uh, Midget 2 advertisement and you will see kind of what I mean by very, very weird Japanese advertisements uh, surrounding these little K-trucks, uh, which are fantastic. Again, I, I genuinely would love to actually drive one of these. I think everyone would. I mean... Sure, it wouldn't be very nice to drive or anything like that, but it'd definitely be interesting and you'd like that. Anyways, as you can see, three minute lap times. This is why I never drove this course before. However, unlike in most small cars, such as the Aris, where this course would be incredibly boring to do, um, in the midget, it's fine. It, it's funny in the midget. <laughs> the midget makes anything funny. Uh, to be honest with you, I was actually crossing my fingers for test course. I really wanted test course to happen. Uh, but no, the uh, game decided to be boring and not give me test course, which is boo. Game, why did you not give me test course? Test course would have made everything better. Um, but yeah, 
Anyways, apparently fourth gear is um, a very, very slow gear. I really should have put an upgraded gearbox in this, to be honest with you, but hey, it doesn't really matter, uh, to be honest with you. I think that's supposed to be water. It actually just looks like the texture is missing. Good old PS1 water physics things. Let's go over the bridge. I'm going to try and get the thumbnail on the bridge because, of course, I am. Um, oh, you go. In case you're wondering, sort of like why I actually do like the flashbacks, especially in these one-make races, you'll find out these are like more edited than basically any of the other episodes. It's because to do the thumbnails, I actually save the replay, um, so I can then go back at a later date, or usually when I finish the recording session. Provided I have time, I will just record the replays, wait until I see a semi-decent shot, and then just take the thumbnail from that. Um, so yeah, that's sometimes why I skip it out, because saving the replay takes a couple of minutes, and plus I want to get rid of all the black screens anyway, so, yeah, um, it gets rid of all of them. Anyways, uh, this race has been going on for literally an eternity at this point. There we go, go around that corner. Um, so yeah, in case you're wondering, we're actually almost out of the wood. S wood? Yes, out of the wood, sure. We are out of the woods with the East City One Make Races. We have Daihatsu here, which we're doing the One Make Races for now. And we have one more Japanese manufacturer to go. And then we are done with the East City One Make Races. Finally. Uh, we've been doing them since episode 38, in case you're wondering. We're going to be finishing up in episode 66 with the East City One Make Races. Then after that, we've got to head over to the North City. And then after that, the One Make Races, all done. Finally, all of the one mate races will be out the way, and uh, then we can get into um, whatever else is next. I don't really know. It's either going to be nationals or endurance racing. Uh, I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'll probably do the nationals um, before I do the endurances, and then I might do the endurances, then the internationals. Then I don't know. Anyways, um, we won. I'm not really going to wait for the rest of those guys to um, show up because it's going to take forever. But yeah, anyways, there you go, Grand Valley Speedway and the Daihatsu Midget, all down in one mighty swoop. Anyways, I uh, will see you in a second. So, there we go, that's the Midget Contest completed. In the next episode, we're going to be doing this slightly less interesting QRA. Cure? It's sure. Whatever. Anyways, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So, thank you all very much for watching, my name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.